Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm in the Duke's Wood Estate of Jarge Cross today. The reason I've come here is because where I am here is the first place you can see one of the streams which flows into the rather secretive River Alderbourne. It's just here, down there. It doesn't look like much, but that stream which is flowing through someone's garden goes off under the road, under that house, and down there, and it joins the River Alderbourne in the village of Fulmer. So what we're going to do, we're going to head on down there in my car and um, we're going to follow the Alderbourne and see where it takes us because it's a very secretive river. There's very few places the public can actually see it. So we will leave Duke's Wood um, Estate behind, jump in my larder and um, we're going to go down to Fulmer. So I've parked the larder down in Fulmer, just walked up the road back towards Charles Cross, lined with daffodils. Now, we saw the stream which flows towards the Alderbourne in Duke's Wood. Beyond Duke's Wood, it goes under the M40, and then our next sighting of the stream is across this field. As you can see, there's a bit of a lake. It's shown on the map as fish ponds. Now, the M40 is just there, you can just see the odd lorry and a few vehicles. There's more fish ponds to the north of the M40, but I couldn't really see them um, well enough to be worth showing them. So there's more fish ponds up there, which are obviously man-made. There's probably an interesting culvert, which takes the water under the motorway. So it goes down there, and then it joins the main course of the Alderborn. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk back down into Fulmer, and um, we'll go and find the main course of the Alderborn. I've just come down the hill now, back in towards the village of Fulmer. Behind this wall here is Fulmer Place. It's um, quite a large, quite attractive house. I believe it's now apartments. Um, it's private, so I won't be able to take you inside. But I believe on the other side of that hedge, the river uh, possibly forms like um, an ornamental feature of the gardens. Now here is the village of Fulmer. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the centre of the village of Fulmer. It's a very small but very attractive village. I'll show you the official course of the River Alderborn because as far as I'm aware what we've been looking at so far is just the stream. It's not the actual Alderborn. Um, so let's have a look. So there's the, the little church. We'll, we'll go and have a quick look at that as well. So it's, um, like I say, it's just a pleasant village. Not far from Jarrod's Cross. So, here's the first official clue to anything being to do with the Alderbourne. It's this road here. If you look, it's called Alderbourne Lane. So we're going to be following Alderbourne Lane, partly on foot, partly in the larder. And here is the actual Alderbourne itself. Right down there in a cutting, and then it goes into a culvert. Well, I tell you, it's not cutting. Um, you know what I mean, though. No? Anyway, I'll let you see it through the railings. So one thing I'm going to have to do, once we've had a look at the village, I'm going to have to put wellies on and I'm going to go down into the cutting, or sorry, I keep saying cutting, I know it's not cutting, it's me thinking in railway terms, um, into um, the river and through the culvert. It must come out over there somewhere. But here is a former parish church. I've never been in this church. I would like to one day, so perhaps another day I'll come and um, have a look in the church. But now I'm going to walk up there to try and find... Um, or get as close to the source of the Alderborns as I possibly can. So this is about as close as I can get to the source of the main branch of the River Alderborn, somewhere in those fields. They're all a bit flooded. You can just see the M40 up there. There's a little farm there. So it officially bubbles up in there and it seems to have flooded the fields a bit and then the river flows off down towards Fulmer, we're about a quarter of a mile away now from Fulmer on this public footpath. That way, if you went there, you could go back to Jarge Cross or Stoke Poges, and then this way is the way I've just come along to Fulmer. So I'm just going to show you up here. There's one bit you can see the river flowing across the fields. It then goes behind the houses, and then somewhere it must come to that culvert that I showed you. So when I showed you the culvert in Fulmer, that was the downstream end of the culvert, um, slight mystery as to where the upstream end is, but 
I'm determined to find it. So um, what I'm going to probably do is when I get back, I'm going to replace my trainers when I get back to the car for wellies. Um, I'm going to get in the river and I'm going to see if I can actually get through the culvert. I thought if I can't find the end of the culvert on land, I'll just go in the culvert and walk through it and see if I can find the other end of it. So here we come to the end of the footpath. So yeah, oh yeah, Hedgley. Um, that way and former village that way so I'm going to follow the daffodil lined uh, lane back to former now this field where we have a few cattle you can just see well it's a bit flooded but then the river flows off just down there that's the course of the river and then the house you can see that's the beginning of former village so I'm going to follow this daffodil line lane back to former village and I'm going to go and put my wellies on and get in the river Well, here I am, looking a little bit different. I'm in the Alderbourne, and I'm ready to go underground. I can show you here. When I said it's in a cutting, I know I'm using railway terminology, but see how deep down into the ground it is. And that culvert, it didn't look that impressive from above, but have a look at it now. It's really quite an exciting piece of architecture. It's pitch black, so I've got my head torch on, and um, I'm going to attempt to go through it and see what's on the other side. There's also um, a waterfall here. So that must be another stream that's culverted from somewhere up the hill and it joins the Alderborn here. Anyway, time to go underground. So here I am. I am just inside the culvert. Now I was hoping to take it all the way through, but unfortunately there, there, there's very deep silt, so I can't. It's going to go above my wellies. But I'll let you have a look through like that with my torch. Now, what, if you look to there, I can see this was a road bridge as far as where I'm shining the torch. And then there's a slight kink. I can just about... You probably can't... Um, yeah, there we go. You can just see daylight. So what I think they've done is there was an area on the other side. I'll show you when we get back up to ground level on the village green. A bit like this. What they've done, they've covered it over and made it into a culvert. So yeah, I really did hope to take you through this. I'm sorry I couldn't do that. But what I'll show you with this stick here... I'll show you how deep the silt is. So if I put the stick into the silt, just up here, a bit, it goes, see what I mean, it goes down quite away. So um, it, it, I can't go in there, it's too dangerous. So maybe one day I'll try and do it with waders, but um, I think the thing to do now is to get back up to ground level. I'll show it to you from um, street level now, I've worked out where the other end of the culvert is, and then um, we'll carry on further upstream and see what we can find. So here we are, back up at ground level, that's the culvert we were down in. So as I was saying, I could see it used to be a bridge and they've um, filled the second half in to make a longer culvert. So if we have a look here, you can see the parapet there where it says Alderbourne Lane. I reckon there was probably another parapet about here somewhere. So there's just been a simple bridge and then where there was a slight kink, here where this line of benches are, the river would have been out for you to see, except it would have been down in um, quite a deep cutting as um, I pointed out as it is on that side so where I'm walking now I'm technically walking upstream above the river so this is what I was hoping to do down in the culvert but as I said it was just too silty um, it would have gone over my wellies and I could have got stuck in a rather dangerous position so I thought it was best to be safe and come out but I just really want to go through it anyway I have found the other end it's just here not that exciting really but there we have the river and um, yeah, so I was going to go there. I probably wouldn't have been able to have climbed up. I'd have probably just um, been able to have, I'd have got someone to film me and I'd have waved me like, hello, I'm down, down in the culvert. So anyway, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to my larder, swap the um, wellies back for shoes and we're going to drive up the Alderbourne um, to another place I know where you, we should see it quite nicely. So we're going to leave the beautiful little village of Former now and um, follow the Alderbourne upstream in the direction of the River Colne. So this is just a little bit down Alderbourne Lane. The river is still down, down there in its deep cutting. Um, I'm going to have to go that way. So there's the larder. I'm going to jump in the larder and um, we're going to drive on up Alderbourne Lane and see what more of the Alderbourne we can find.
So we're now driving along Alderbourne Lane. As you can see, the Alderbourne is never far from Alderbourne Lane. And when we get to the junction here, we um, are going to have to drive right through the river because there's a water splash. So that's Alderbourne Lane. And here, as you can see the car in front, that's the water splash. So we're going to drive through the Alderbourne and then I'm going to have to turn round and um, come back. So yeah, this is always exciting when you get to ask your call. So we're now going to, well I'm going to turn the car around then we're going to carry on towards Iver Heath. I couldn't resist just getting out of the car to um, go and inspect the Ford myself. So here it is. I've come through this Ford various times over the years and I've always been fascinated with it. I don't think I've ever actually walked through it before. I've only ever been through it in the car. Interestingly, there's um, appears to be another stream coming in here and I think there's a stream on the other side. Now can I walk through this? Um, I did take that stick with me but I've left it in the car. Can I walk through? Yeah, it's not deep at all. So here I am, I'm literally standing in the middle of the Alderbourne, um, in the fort, which I've been through so many times but never actually walked through. There's also, um, appears to be, another stream coming down here and joining the river from there. So there must be another spring up there. And I'll walk back over the bridge. See the, so it's not even a foot deep, so I suppose I could have just read that before walking into the river, wondering how deep it was. So we have a nice little narrow bridge, and the river flows off down there. Now it's going to be up there where things are really going to get complicated because it goes through the junction of the M25 and the M40. So, hmm, might be easier said than done trying to look at that bit. Supposedly, though, more people have been to space than seen the river between those junctions. So, I wonder what we can do. I wonder if we can go and have a closer look. I wonder if we can go somewhere where more people have been to space than this river i don't know but i think the thing to do is to jump in my car and um go for a drive find out well i'm now on a road called seven hills road you can tell it's very noisy that's because we're going over the m25 um, one of my videos where we end up crossing the m25 you may have seen i did a video a while back at chorley wood where we had a look at where the metropolitan line went under the M25. Well, somewhere down there, the Alderbourne goes under the M25. It'll go under the slip road, and up there's the junction with the M40. Under the slip road, under the M25, and then under two more slip roads. So my plan is to see if we can get anywhere close. So if you look ahead up there, just after this bridge, there's a public footpath. Now my plan is to go down that public footpath, and that will, at the very least, it will take us to the Alderbourne, further downstream from where we last saw the Alderbourne at the Ford. It's probably about a mile as the crow flies, but it's been quite a long way round. I've had to drive up to Iver Heath. I've left my car in Iver Heath Village Centre, which is about three quarters of a mile that way. I came along a long footpath along the edge of the motorway, which brought me to here. Now, um, just up here, there will be a public footpath. So my plan is to try and find a public footpath. I'm just over there. Um, is Pinewood Studios, you know, where a lot of films and television are made. So, give you an idea of where we are. Now, this public footpath I'm looking for should be... Oh, yeah, that's good. I can see the sign. I assume um, the way it's shown that we've got these very faint signs. We've got one there and one there. Before the motorway, the public footpath probably went straight across here. So, it's had to be diverted slightly because of the motorway. So, now, I'm going to head off down this public footpath and let's see if we can find the Alderbourne. I'm just making friends with the locals um, on my walk. We are now heading down towards the valley of the Alderbourne. So we come to here. The Alderbourne must be, there's a pylon in the distance which the camera I don't think is picking it out. But the river Alderbourne is down at the bottom of this field. So it's when I get down there, the question is, what can we see? Um, 
The river's obviously come through this motorway junction, so I'm going to try and get a closer look at that. So, let's go down and find the Audible. So I'm now at the bottom of the field where we met those friendly horses at the top. Just there's a couple of sit roads between the M25 and the M40. Um, we come down here and here is the river again. We're reunited with the river. As I've said, this is a river where, you know, there's very few places that the public can actually see it. And we did the River Misbourne and um, most, we could pretty much follow the whole river, this one. We just got to cross it on the few places you can. There's another stream there flowing along into the river so I'm going to cross the river here on this bridge um, and then we're going to have a look and see what happens where it comes under the road. So the footpath continues that way towards those woods, the river goes away from public viewing in that direction, I'm going to follow it up to here and um, just see what I can see really. I really don't know what to expect, it could be a great big culvert that I could walk through it might be just a small tube. I don't know, um, but I can see. So I can see it now. I can see straight through it. So, well, this is where it's going to get interesting. That's the culvert. Now, certainly big enough for me to stand up in and walk through. The question is, if it's too deep, I'm not going to be able to go through it. But if it is too deep, what I might do, I might just have to go and invest in some waders and come back another day. So I'm just going to make my way around those bushes and try and get a closer look. So here we are, just slightly upstream of that bridge. Here is the culvert under the two slip roads. Now, I've just attempted to try and walk through it. It looks um, really, it did look quite nice and I thought, yeah, I might just be able to walk straight through it. But the sill, as soon as you start walking on it, it all starts bubbling up. I started sinking, so it's basically too dangerous to go through. I might try and come back in the summer and have another go, but see this stick, I put this stick in here if I pull this stick out, we should be able to see how deep it is. Um, so, right, yeah, it's hard to show you, I appreciate. It is deep, look, deep, really deep, deeper than my well is. So, I'm not going to attempt to go any further. I'm going to walk home now, or walk back to my car and drive home, um, and have a cup of tea, I think. What I think I'll do, though, another day, we'll um, find out what the rest what the rest of the river has in store. I don't think it's going to be anything quite as exciting as this. And like I said, perhaps if the river gets to a very low flow or even dries up, I don't really want to see the river dried up. If it does dry up um, on a very hot day in the summer, perhaps we'll come back and have another go at trying to go through these culverts because I really am intrigued to see what's on the other side. So I hope you enjoyed this little video from the River Alderborn, one of the lesser known rivers of Buckinghamshire. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from a culvert under a couple of slip roads. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.